This is the everlasting consolation now being referred to by Paul in these words. Those in Christ are saved and they have been sanctified. Every terrifying thing described earlier in the chapter and elsewhere in scripture concerning those who fail to come to Christ has no bearing on us at all. If you have come to Christ, it is a done deal. And the thing is that you can forget that you were saved and God never will. If you're not sure if that's true, go read uh, 2 Peter 1, 9. It's right there. We'll, we'll go there really quickly just so you don't think I'm making stuff up. But um, uh, this person is what Peter warns against. He spends the first eight verses warning against this type of an attitude. But he gets down to verse 9 and he says, For he who lacks these things, do this, do this, do this, and you'll be uh, secure in your faith. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted, even to blindness, and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. He completely walked away from the faith. He's completely forgotten that he was ever saved in the first place, and yet God has not. God covenanted with him in Christ, and it is a done deal. He's going to wake up someday in glory, and he's going to say, you know, I forgot that I had done this, but God didn't. What a great God, okay? that's It's so wonderful to think on what God has done for us, because we, you know, we get beside ourselves with anger. We get beside ourselves with, you know, mourning and loss or whatever our emotional state is at the time. Or we just, you know, get busy with life and we just start, you know, walking away from church and eventually we're just doing our own thing and we've just completely forgotten. He's there, right there with you. He has made the promise in Christ. He has sealed you with his spirit and he will redeem you. What a great God. What a great God. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, yeah, the words in the Greek read, in grace, okay? So uh, we have, um, where did I read that? Uh, in Sanctification in the Spirit. This is the everlasting consolation now being referred to. Those in Christ are saved and they have been sanctified. Um, let's see here. Um, instead, we have the everlasting consolation and hope and good hope by grace. And once again, the words in Greek read, in grace. God has put us in this position, which is in grace, this denotes the mode of everlasting consolation and good hope which we have been given. Great.